Collect some wood to use for building our base. Now collect some ore. Ore is used for upgrading our base and crafting various items like ammo. There are many ways to obtain ore, but these randomly generated piles are the most straightforward. Now we will grab a crafting table and craft some blocks to build a base with. You can place blocks anywhere. Building too close to another player however will give them the ability to remove your blocks. Basic smelting is the same as on Minecraft. However, there are alternatives such as the blast furnace which work faster. Resource piles will regenerate after some time. Explosives cannot blow downwards unless the blocks are on top of some natural block like grass or stone. Here is another quick example. This block will get destroyed because it has a natural block directly below it. The map can be a very useful tool for finding loot zones and other players. You can open it on the internet or through our official client. Let's get some loot. Here is a low tier zombie radiation zone. You can expect to find low tier items dropped by the various mobs. These grappler zombies can be very deadly when surrounded by other mobs. It's recommended to take them out quickly. Loot chests can contain just about anything, however, they usually contain only low tier items. Bandits are a mid tier mob, they are a good source of guns and low tier Kevlar armor. Here is the fishing village, found in the ocean. Here you can catch fish and loot. You can also catch rainbow fish and trade them in for other items. Here is a Talan base. These are high tier mobs which can drop high tier guns and armor. However this area is highly contested and may be difficult to farm. These mobs are much smarter than bandits and can swap to melee whenever. They can also heal themselves. 
Here is the exclusion zone. Full of strange enemies and higher tier loot. Some of the mobs here will also drop plants which can be used to grow various resources. Some loot zones contain mini-bosses which can drop medium-tier boss loot or raid keys. Killing them is a great farming method for new players. This item is a raid key. It allows you and your team to fight various difficult bosses for medium to high tier loot. You can find raid keys from key chests or randomly dropped by mobs. 